Hello everybody, Kai23 here, and welcome back to Minecraft Multiplayer. This time, we are in Feed the Beast Infinity again, but we are in Hardcore mode. Now, I've set this up because I didn't want to have to show everything, because I've been playing for about a month now, and this is all I got. That's, that's how hard this is. A lot of the recipes have been disabled, such as... Just trying to make a second test rack, so... So, simple things, like solar generators, can't build anymore. Uh, potions generator, can't build. So, a lot of that stuff has been disabled from building. So, yeah, that, that's annoying. Other things, like the diamond swords and stuff, are used for crafting only. And only have, like, one durability. Wait, why does the cult have 32? But yeah, that, it forces you to use Tinker stuff. Now, I have some pretty good Tinker stuff already. Like, I can almost one-shot everything with this. My Windsong Crossbow. Now, the reason why I have Knockback on it, which is the piston on the front, is because if someone gets close to me, I just punch them and they go flying backwards. And I've noticed something. This thing does 24 and a half hearts of damage by itself just punching that's not shooting the arrow arrow is an entirely different thing I punch it and I kill almost everything with one hit you know I'm not gonna complain but this is my little factory set up so far it's not much I'm still working on it as you can see missing the roof <clears throat> well finish off this floor and then work on the next floor which I think I'm gonna make uh, an agricraft floor which will be for all the little gene mutations and stuff. I did this because I needed uh, tofu. I needed to get soybeans or something. I needed tofu. I don't know. I, I needed... Oh, no, no, no. I needed certain seeds to make the presser. That's what it was. So I can turn the soybeans into silken tofu and stuff. So I can make this. Which is really just a piece of junk. And this, over on this wall, is my happiest recreation. This cobblestone barrel here is linked to one outside. I'll show you in a second. It feeds into the recycler, which is... Don't freeze on me. Which is constantly creating scrap. I have a barrel here just in case it gets backed up. Which feeds into an auto bench, which turns it into scrap boxes. Again, back up. And then into a mass fabricator. And it's pretty much unlimited UU matter. This six millibuckets here is a matter of half an hour at most. And then I have my replicator here that already has one in it. Now, I've already got a bunch of patterns saved in here. But I need this pellet of RTG fuel for the big reactor. In order to even make a... Where is it? The Eulorium Fuel Rod. You need hardened glass and a pellet of RTG fuel. I had a pellet, but I decided to put it in my scanner, so then I actually have that pattern. And before you say anything, yes, most of these boxes you see sitting on the floor are full of junk. Which is what the computer is going to be used for when I get it actually set up. I'm just going to, be, I'm just going to basically put a hopper going to set the uh, crate on top of it, because when you break these, like, yeah. see how much is in here? These are all the shaders I have for uh, immersive engineering, for the guns, the balloons, revolvers, all that stuff. But these are nice. These are very nice to have. You break one, boom. You keep everything in that box. See? But, okay, let me throw that, that. Because this isn't the only thing we're going to do. I've been using this thing for uh, collecting wither skulls. I got like five within a few minutes. It was so nice. Oh. What's that doing in there? Okay. I actually need the iron. I've been running really, 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 really low. I've been turning it all into steel. Trying to make this stupid turbine rotor. Let me turn my jetpack on. And 
This is going to be my turbine setup. Oh, crud. Doop. Gotta light it up before monsters start spawning. This is my steam boiler. As you can see, it doesn't have anything in it. This doesn't have anything because it doesn't have a rotor yet. <clears throat> but I have it connected up to a hardened cell. Might... Oh, sorry. Don't mean to be bourbon. I shouldn't be doing that. Oof. I have it hooked up to a hardened cell to collect energy. And then that hardened cell is hooked up to the balloon. And then it's hooked up into my network. I need to upgrade this, but that takes a lot. One of the... Now, you may be asking, why haven't I built a computer yet? Because I can't build the energy acceptor yet. This thing right here allows me to convert RF into AE energy, but it requires this Certus Quartz wrench. Now, because this is hard mode, it requires enhanced Calcanorian metal and enriched Cinerium alloy, which requires enriched Cinerium. These are not that hard to get. Those are just Cinerium with irradi irradiant uranium. I've already got three of these bad boys, but I need a lot more. This is the part that's annoying. To make the alloy, you need iridium reinforced plates per one. And that takes four iridium per. Yeah, that, that's a pain in the neck. So that's why I'm trying to get a big reactor, so then they make the UU matter faster. Now, I'll show you my factory more in a minute. The A, if you remember some of my first series on the channel, Automations Incorporated. Bringing it back. See, this is my biggest power generation right now. It's three water wheels and two windmills. Now, it kind of looks weird on top just because I plan to put a lightning rod, I believe it's called. The actual name of it is a lightning rod. I'm going to connect it up on top there, figure out how to make a platform for it. Got some nether trees out here. This is the other part of the barrel that's linked inside. With the cobble gen set up, like you saw in Galactic Science, very useful. This is my tree farm. This little bad boy is amazing. I don't have any coal on him. Don't use coal. Use this. There we go. Use the so solar panels. There we go. Don't have infinite amounts of. Oh, actually, I do have infinite amounts of charcoal to give you, but that's besides the point. And I'm not worrying about those because I have almost a full barrel. My rubber tree farm, which I should really replace with that. I got, I got a ton of essence fairy bushes. I saw more. I haven't collected them. I was like, oh well. Okay. My small tree that has a rainbow of colors in here. Three ingots. Ooh. Yeah, one of the only ways to get gears in this pack is you have to use the gear cast. You have to put them in here and then pour them out into it. But, real quick. Take that. This, for like the first two or three weeks of me playing on this server, this was my house. Like, I had furnaces here, I had crates all along this wall pretty much. Bed set up over here, Tinker's Construct like right underneath here. It was cramped. And then I started building this thing. Well, this is going to be like a little, I need to end it off down here, put some stairs, probably connect it over there to the road. I'm actually going to turn this area into an actual village. I'm going to wall it off, I'm going to make a QED, make some magnum torches, and actually just get this area all nice and set up. Maybe make a uh, wall around it too. But see, I got this for my big reactor so far. Haven't had a chance to really attach much. I have the other reactor casing parts I can stick up there, so it's all good. This was my uh, wheat farm for the longest time, but I uh, kind of grew full on that stuff and I don't have any use for it. And then the whole turning that into toast, which gives you more food. Yeah. And then I decided, you know what, why don't I try a carrot farm? Yeah, that filled up pretty fast too. Plus the one you see up here powering the culinary generator. Yeah. <gasps> Crud. Shoot. 
Didn't mean to do that. Uh, Matok. Throw some broccoli back down there for now. Uh, Can't throw this anywhere right now. Just go in there. Okay. That's how you can go back in there. Now you may be noticing I don't have the uh, what you call it, the upgrade to make these electric. I actually don't like that upgrade because then it actually does still use durability if you run out of electricity. So I'm not going to bother with that. These. Hi! What was that? But yeah, the lasers now, you have to build an assembly table for pretty much everything. Like, let's build a, let's just see how to build a pulverizer. One of the basic machines you see me use in most of my series. Now, a machine frame, doesn't matter which one. You have to make an assembly table. Dense iron plate, two crushed obsidian. This is different types of circuit boards, which is like tin or gold or something. The different gears, pretending on, depending on the certain levels. The chipsets, depending on the certain levels. In order just to make these. It's a pain in the neck. Oh. I've been using my levels as a decoration on the first floor. I'll get down there in a second. Did I have? No. But yeah, in order to make a bucket, even? A, a bucket. Let me show you. A bucket. You have to make iron plates. You can't use iron. It has to be iron plates. Oh, that's what transposer. are. Yeah, it makes it a lot harder. So we just upgrade we just updated to two point five, which I guess came out a few days ago, but we just updated like eh, an hour ago. It's having some weird lighting issues with immersive engineering. No idea why. It didn't happen before the update, so it must have been something in the update. This thing has been my savior. Ow. <sighs> Sorry, I had an itch. Basically, you po it's, it's, a, it's an RF generator. You power it with coal, charcoal, coal coke. As you can tell, I have a lot. And it powers, and it gives you power. I'm so happy. There we go. Now, this isn't the only thing I'm going to be doing. I'm not just going to be giving you a tour of the whole thing. Don't worry few more things and then we'll get to the main the main thing I want to do today over here is my nuclear reactor it's way over here because if it explodes I don't want it anywhere near my factory uh, yeah the fuel rods generate the power and these cool it down I actually need to make more of these heat vents because like if I want to put this one here these would overheat and break then it would start heating up the core temperature here, and then once this reaches 100, it explodes. Uh-oh. I, uh... Hi, GLaDOS. Oh, shush, GLaDOS. Ooh, uh, no. Real quick, so I don't take it with me for what we're about to do. Turbine rotor. Ugh, man, so annoying. Basically, I need to make a turbine rotor for the turbine out there. Down here. The first floor. It's a little bare right now. I have my rail rifle, rail gun, with my shader that I found. Oh. It's it's the, uh... Ooh, oh, hello. Uh... It says Nuka Cola on it. It's a it's a uh, Vault Tech one. I love it. I have light bulbs all over. I I need to spruce this place up to make it look better. Now this area I haven't really worked on too much just because I'm waiting for me to complete the tower before I work in this area. Basically, what this area is is going to be like my, my office area where I can have board meetings and stuff. This block is just a placeholder. I'm going to be placing a cartographer here. Or a height map projector, I think it is. You use the cartographer with it. And it will project a map of what this building looks like. So that's kind of why I'm waiting to actually do it. Because it, it might be expensive. This was my first ever sword. 
This is the sword that saved me for ages. And it shall ever have a spot. This will eventually all move. This is just my uh, brick building stuff for all the different factories. This bloodwood door will probably change because I don't like it too much. It's kind of weird. My main office. I got the fan, the plot here. Sit here and take people and tell them what to do. My geek. I've been working on the food. I accidentally made a pot and I can't destroy it. So. Draconic Evolution. This is the one thing that I really want to get into. But look at this. That's not too bad. That I can do. But then the Wyvern Core. You need a Vibrant Alloy, a Flux Electrum Ingot. Those two I can make. Thaumium Ingots and Mana Steel. I wasn't planning on doing magic. But now that I need, I need, see that I need it, I guess I have to, huh? And then, my front door, basically. It's, a, it's just the garage door. Oh, man, makes it look cool. And then there's the uh, experienced light levels I was talking about. That looks so weird there. Oh, sorry. Almost threw up there. I have a Ender IO farm here. Are you going up or down? Down. None of this is growing. Why aren't you growing? Oh well. And then, what we're going to be doing today. The Twilight Forest. Well, strap in. Here we go. And if we do crash, because sometimes going into the Twilight is laggy. No, never mind. Okay. So, I haven't really shown Twilight Forest on camera before, but it now has a progression system. I don't know if their progression makes it so I can't do anything or what. Yeah, see, I can't see. I can't go over there yet. But, I've already marked out the first boss just because I was in here making sure everything worked. Oh, there's some kind of... There really is like a weird blighting effect going on. I don't like that. Oh, a lot of dogs. I don't want to punch the dogs just because I know the pack mentality. Okay. I've already looted these mazes, so it's all good. Wait. Oh. <laughs> I know I could use my glider, but don't want it to lag too much. Wait, what am I saying? The glider doesn't lag. It's faster using the jetpack. But in order to progress, the first boss is the Naga. Now, these black poles here, there was a lapis block sitting on top of them. I took the lapis already. <clears throat> Now, this fight's not even going to be fair. I'm just warning you right now. If you're playing without tinkers and, like, thermal expansion and stuff, this fight is really hard. But, if you're like me... Look at that. That, that... That wasn't even a fight. Okay? Ooh! <laughs> I was looking for that one. That that's the that's the shader I've been looking for. Yes. Uh -huh. Now I have to say that there is one person else on with me, the server owner PK Anti. Probably seen him before. Now the next thing we need to find is a lich, which is found in the lich tower. I have a I have the progression thing open up my other computer, so. Oh, I should mention that I have these on moss, so I have unlimited arrows. Hi, witch. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, ooh, yes, I can melt you down. Shoot. Okay. So now we need to find a lich tower. That tree did not spawn in properly. Holy cow. Now, lich trees are usually in a foresty area. 
I want to go check that out. Gotta wait for this to. The servers run on a toaster, pretty much. It does not like people traveling around. Don't know why. So we make a joke that whenever the server starts really lagging, that the toaster's starting to overheat. Is there anything in here? No. Okay. Uh, there's something in these wells, I think. Right? There's stuff in these wells? Nope. Okay. But we can't go into the snow area. That's like a little later on. This is a resource hill. Well, it looks like a decent size. So you know what we're going to do. J. Add a waypoint. New. Resource hill. Okay. Whenever I get a quarry set up, that'll be a nice place to put it. I'm not going to worry about the witch house. Can I enter this area? Yeah, if you enter a certain area without collecting the proper trophies and stuff, you get like blindness, weakness, poison, all these different things. Eh, might as well get another Nog kill. There we go. Shimmering scale. Tain and Naga scale, allowing you to overcome the various surrounding Lich's Tower. I've already... Oh my goodness. Second one I killed. Usurper. Ooh, I'll have to test that out when we get back. But yeah, I wouldn't mind creating like a little armor area that just shows off all the different armors for the Twilight Forest. Okay, so it's night time, I guess. Just looking at the mini map, and there's all a bunch of bosses, or mobs, not bosses. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of Nagas just running around, you know. These? I actually need the Lapis. I mean, I think I have a lot at home, but they're nice to have. Because you need Lapis in order to make the, like, a Lapis Electron Tubes which are used for like everything so it's always nice to have extra lapis I'm not gonna mark every single hill so don't bother saying anything oh that's a lot of iron Ugh, I'm not pulling out my matok I just want to find this lich doopy doopy doop There's the Lich's Tower. I could be cheap and just go right to the top. Think I can hit it? Booyah. <laughs> but, you know what? I'm going to end the episode here. <laughs> One boss per episode, I guess. So, next episode, it's going to be all about the Lich. And I will do it normally. I will go through the bottom and work my way to the top. We will throw all this crud in here for now. So, anyways guys, thank you so much for joining me. Where? We killed the Naga. I showed you around the hardcore mode. It was a good day. Really, really good day. I'm going to be doing a lot of the background stuff offline so you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to see it, but I will see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.